coming up on a special holiday edition of Ag Week TV. We're taking a look back at some of our favorite and most popular stories of the past year, and we'll have some updates since the stories aired. Welcome to our annual Ag Week TV Holiday Special. We're at Superior Grain Equipment in Kindred, North Dakota. We hope you're having a very Merry Christmas. This week, instead of our usual show, we're taking a look back at some of our favorite and most popular stories from 2022. We begin with one we've been following for several years. An agribusiness on the island nation of Haiti with ties to North Dakota has faced some major challenges in its effort to help its people. Jenny Schlecht has been reporting on John Draxton's meat processing efforts in the impoverished country. Jenny, so last we heard, John was trying to raise money for solar power. That's right, Emily. John Draxton from Northwood, North Dakota, started Farmer John's Haiti about four years ago. The meat processing company provides sustainable, sanitary meat and jobs to the struggling country. But political upheaval, gang violence, fuel shortages, and fuel price spikes pushed Farmer John's to move to solar power. In a YouTube video, Draxton said the business has grown to 30 employees and buys animals from 200 farmers. It's a huge boon to the economy, but Draxton said they were on the verge of closing if they couldn't convert to reliable solar power. Well, I'm standing in the solar room. Unbelievable. Can't believe this happened this fast. We just, we get, the fuel prices went up and we needed solar, so it's been three months. Here we are. The whole butcher shop is running on solar right now. It's seven in the morning and it's, this, the panels are providing enough power to run everything. It's unbelievable. Solar power has been providing electricity at Farmer John's since mid-November. Money for the $300,000 project was raised through a fundraiser. John says now they only need to buy a small amount of fuel to run generators, but the fuel still has to come from the black market. But violence and turmoil in Haiti continue to hinder their meat deliveries in the country. You can learn more about the business on their Facebook page, Farmer John's Haiti. So still some challenges, but he's certainly doing a great job. Thanks, Jenny. Closer to home, a small farming venture is helping new Americans get started growing and selling their own crops. Jeff Beach, you visited New Roots Co-op. Tell us more about it. Farmers from several countries who've recently come to the U.S. have the chance to grow crops to sell at this small farm north of Moorhead, Minnesota. Cherry tomatoes, corn, green beans, peas, everything. Simeon Bakunda came to the U.S. from Congo 18 years ago. This is his fourth year as a member of the New Roots Co-op. Are you picking the right size? Yes, that's the right size. Okay, good. He was active in a community garden for several years before that, but he wanted to expand, growing food from his home country, especially his favorite African eggplant. In addition to growing for his family, Bakunda sells his produce at farmers markets and ethnic grocery stores. Our customers know where we grow our stuff. They like our stuff. We are so proud to be part of, uh, to be part of contributing to feeding the, the community. The New Roots Incubator has 12 members this year. They are working to expand on 60 acres near the Prairie Rose Farm at Felton, Minnesota for the 2023 growing season. It's gorgeous. It looks like things are going really well this year. Yes. Verna Kragness is one of the co-op's founders and helped raise money to get it started and now to grow. The incubator gives farmers support they need from equipment to marketing. That's what we're really excited about with New Roots is to see in the future, more and more farms that have gotten themselves launched and successfully operating. A qualifying farmer will become eligible for help, such as crop insurance, through the Farm Service Agency. So a lot of this, these vegetables are new to you? Yes, yes. Mohan Dakal and his wife came from Bhutan in 2014, where they had been farmers. So this small piece of land feels like home. We are happy to have this. So um, this garden is good for us. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. That's great. This is great. The farm launched a campaign to raise half a million dollars to buy the land, but they didn't make it. So they're looking for other land to lease or lease purchase. One farmer that started with new roots was able to qualify for an FSA loan and buy 12 acres of his own. Thanks, Jeff. We wish them well in the future. Molly Ye has become a star on the national food scene. She's a cookbook author and has a show on the Food Network. But how did she end up on her farm right outside of East Grand Forks, Minnesota? Ag Week reporter Ann Bailey talked to Molly's husband, Nick Hagen, the man behind the farm. Nick is the fifth generation to farm there, but he didn't always plan to do that. 
After graduating from East Grand Forks High School in 2005, he attended the prestigious Juilliard School in New York City, hoping for a career in music. At Juilliard, he met an underclassman named Molly Ye. After a couple of years together in New York, they decided to move back to Nick's hometown and farm. They made the move in the summer of 2013 and were married on the farm two years later. It was really special for me that Molly would want to be married, you know, on, on this farm and, and like make her life here. In September, Nick and Molly opened Bernie's, a restaurant in East Grand Forks. It features regional cuisine like hot dish and cookie salad made with local ingredients. You know, everything's from scratch. You know, I guess we're trying to elevate it in a sense, but we're also trying to make it very approachable, a place that really celebrates this place. The cafe is going strong. Reports from those who have been there say the food is excellent. Coming up on this special holiday edition of Ag Week TV, we'll meet a South Dakota farmer who's hitting all the right notes. As we approach the end of the 2022 crop year, it's time to assess which decisions were good and which ones were not. Producers will go through cropping practices and evaluate their performance and make their adjustments the following year. Do you do the same with your risk management strategy? Did your crop insurance levels give you the coverage and protection you needed for the year? Were you able to respond to the market opportunities when they became available? If your risk management approach needs a little attention, the professionals at Martinson Ag can help you. We give you straightforward analysis that helps you make the best decisions for your operation. Looking to add non-GMO conventional and organic soybeans to your rotation this year? Soyco International out of Gary, Minnesota is looking for new farmer contracts for the 2023 season. They have proven marketing strategies, partnered with local agronomy expertise to work alongside and provide the certified seeds needed for their contract growers. Soyco International is offering premium prices to boost your operation's bottom line. Reach out to Sean Young today at 218-350-3863 to answer any questions. Attention farmers and ranchers, do you have a clear understanding of carbon? North Dakota Farmers Union is hosting the Evolution Ag Summit, a one-day event focused on helping farmers and ranchers understand how carbon reduction may impact their operation. Speakers will focus on supply chain commitments, renewable fuels, and carbon sequestration. Join us in Jamestown on February 21st. To register, go to ndfu.org and click on Evolution Ag. Every season has an end. After spending your whole life building something, it can be hard to move on to your next stage in life. But when that time comes, you deserve to have someone you trust guide you through the process. And by trusting us to pass on your legacy, it gives someone else the chance to create their own. Every auction has a story. Let us share yours. There's no easy button, no guarantees, or promises of a good year. This is farming. It's unpredictable and demanding with long days and sometimes stressful nights. It's weathering the storms and coming out successful. Farming isn't for everyone. We thank those who make it their life because it is for everyone. From Superior Grain Equipment in Kindred, North Dakota, you're watching our holiday best of edition of Ag Week TV. Multitasking and cooperation are common on the farm, but Mikkel Pace found a woman who takes that to a whole new level. Mikkel, what makes Ann Waltner unique? Well, Emily, Ann is a concert pianist who came back to the family farm, and not to mention, she has triplets. <laughs> I would always have considered myself a pianist first. Ann Walter came back from a concert pianist career to join the family farm, but she also became a wife, mother of triplets, and a cancer survivor. I never understood that I had to be a certain thing. Within a strong Mennonite ag and arts heritage, Walter majored in biology and piano performance in college. That led her into a stint teaching in India. It was a, an international school in, on the side of a mountain. She went on to get master's and doctorate degrees in piano performance and taught at colleges in the East for several years, but she was still looking for her path in life. When she was in college, she'd occasionally help her parents back on the farm, and 10 years later, from 2010 to 2015, she rented soybean and corn acres from them on her own. And in 2016, she came home to be a full partner with them in the 1,600-acre corn and soybean farm. Keith and Sharon Waltner are happy and is coming alongside. She's intuitive, she was good with machinery, she was good with livestock. 
Walter says she's comfortable with the technology side of farming, but still counts on her dad to help fix equipment. When the chips are down and something is broken and you've got to find a way to fix it efficiently, that's what I'm nervous about. In addition to a major career change, there have also been other changes in Waltner's life. In 2015, she married Rolf Olson, a college music professor, not a farmer. In 2017, she gave birth to triplet girls. <laughs> Some days I wake up and it's like, wow. Two years later, she was diagnosed with leukemia but she is doing well with treatment. And if that's not enough, she just landed a post as principal keyboard player for the Sioux Falls Symphony, where Rolf is already in the trumpet section. So in a career like farming that always takes a lot of collaboration, this musical collaborator is taking things to a new level. I love what I do. I'm working with all my favorite people. I mean, who gets to do that? While drought cut into Anne's 2022 crop production, her musical career is going strong. She scored the principal keyboard jobs with the South Dakota Symphony and the Sioux City, Iowa Symphony. Her husband, Rolf, is a retired band professor who now teaches part-time, and their triplets are now five. That is one busy family. Thanks, Mikkel. They say a dog is a man's best friend, but one lucky dog has hundreds of friends and a very important job. Katie Pinky met Mara, a golden retriever with a couple of roles at a North Dakota high school. In February 2020, the Small Animal Care Class in Hillsboro created a proposal for a therapy dog. This school year it came to fruition and I have the chance to visit this special dog. So it brings that hands-on experience that they're normally not going to get. You can bring a dog in for a day or two, but this is every day. Most days they get to train the dog and they get to see the progress from day one to the end of the project. Just six students are in the small animal care class and are already learning the importance of agriculture in their lives. We're learning how to train a dog, of course. I'll try to get her to sit and see if we can get her to sit. Come on, sit. Good girl, Mara. Last semester we learned dog's anatomy, we learned how to properly groom a dog, how to do vet checks, like give shots. The therapy dog proposal had three key objectives. To provide hands-on learning experience for veterinary science and small animal care classes, to provide comfort and support to the students and staff at Hillsborough Public School. Having her here has changed my outlook on teaching and what I do. And even my business manager said today, she said you're in a much better mood than you that you were earlier. And to reduce anxiety and depression in Hillsborough Public School students. And when they see her, they just smile, they're happy to see her, they get down and pet her. And it just like gives them a little break from school and gives them a little moment of happiness. <laughs> Ms. Teresa's goal is for therapy dogs to grow among egg classes and FFA chapters across the region. Katie, a lot has happened for Mara since the story aired. It has. She is now a certified pet partner, and when she's not in school, she visits the Roger Maris Cancer Center and other facilities. Mr. Reese has been working with North Dakota State University's College of Ag about developing a therapy dog training standards, and several schools have reached out for information about getting their own therapy dog. You can even follow Mara on social media. Very cool story. Thanks, Katie. Still ahead on our holiday show, a star in the vintage tractor world pays a visit to the Steam Threshers reunion and we'll see why some goats are getting their fill of weeds. Dynaflow is the ultimate high volume water management pump. Whether you're experiencing flooding, emptying sloughs, transferring ponds, or working on irrigation, the Dynaflow pump works in as little as 18 inches of water and is designed to move 3,000 gallons per minute. The Dynaflow lift pump is the perfect upgrade to your drain tile system. Using line shaft turbine pump technology, these pumps are made to last while operating efficiently. Dynaflow drain tile pumps can move up to 1,500 gallons per minute, up to 3,400 feet away. A&S Ag Sales is located in northwestern Minnesota, offering a full line of grain storage, handling equipment, and steel frame buildings. Let A&S Ag Sales take care of all your storage and handling needs. From the point of sale to the actual site construction, A&S Ag Sales will handle the entire process from start to finish. Call for year-end savings at 218-437-8200. Infrastructure is at the foundation of everything we do. It lets us go farther, play harder, and live better. That's why for over 60 years, 
our team of experienced civil engineers has worked with our private and public partners to design, construct, and maintain our community's infrastructure. When it matters most, you need more. More engineering, improving lives by building strong communities. All right, here's the free gift I got for opening up a checking account. Let's see what I got. Okay guys, so I got this portable DVD player. Yeah, I'm not sure why my bank would give me a tiny waffle maker. So it's a tumbler, but it doesn't fit in any of my cup holders. I wasn't even sure they still made these. Is it for kids? Is this for kids? Don't fall for the free gift. Find a bank that cares about what you really need. Cornerstone Bank. The team at North Star Egg is committed to quality and committed to you. We're not just a full service dealer, we're farmers too, so we know you need the best machinery and services that'll keep you going all season long. We have the largest equipment inventory in the upper Midwest with a well-equipped parts and service department. So whether you need machinery tomorrow or parts today, stop in and experience what North Star Egg can offer on our website at northstar-egg.com or give us a call at 701-361-4790. Welcome back to our holiday favorite special. With the high price of diesel, the time might be right for a tractor that runs on kerosene, but it's not a new idea at all. Rose Dunn gave us a look at one that visited the region. This year's Western Minnesota Steam Threshers reunion in Rolog, Minnesota featured a Rumley equipment display. The centerpiece was a one-of-a-kind 1909 prototype, Kerosene Annie. Um, it's not something that you just turn the key on and start. Everything has to be oiled. Everything has to be primed. Rob Bearden is Annie's caretaker at her permanent home at the Jump Tractor Museum in Boise, Idaho. Give everybody a little squirt of oil. Annie hadn't run for decades when she arrived at Luke Steinberger's shop near Harwood, North Dakota to get ready for Rolog. And then Luke will have it belted up to that tractor. And once we get it spinning up, we'll gradually float the clutch into it and it'll, uh, Hopefully start up right away. A team of local mechanics quickly got her running again. Within nine days, we had 300 hours of man labor into it. Once we got it running the first fire, boy, it was, it was pretty exciting to hear this thing run for the first time. The idea of kerosene engines was developed in the early 1900s as a cheap fuel source before diesel became more popular in the 1930s. Annie was used as a prototype for just one year and then sat behind the Brumley factory in LaPorte, Indiana until the 50s when she was discovered by a collector and restored. Uh, the whole tractor is actually brand new. There's very little time on it. All the gears are new. All the inside of the engine is pretty much new. So my great-grandparents farmed with Rumleys in western North Dakota around Minot. Steinberger's lifetime love of Rumleys prompted him to start working to bring an exhibit to the Rolog reunion. It's taken several years of planning and the help of several sponsors but it's finally coming to life. The Expo will feature five one-of-a-kind Rumleys. We need to bring new things that they haven't seen just to keep things fresh too, and there would be nothing greater than Kerosene Annie to do that, something to be seen and touched and felt and heard and actually used. Throw this back up into reverse. We plan on plowing with it. We're gonna run a pump with it and do some threshing with it and might even take the steam queen for a ride in it. The Jump Tractor Museum, Annie's permanent home, was built to house the vintage tractor collection of J.R. Simplot. He bought Annie and many other tractors from the collection of Oscar Cook at Oscar's Dreamland in Billings, Montana. Definitely unique. Thanks so much, Rose. The next story is one we all loved. A herd of goats that gets to eat to their heart's content while eliminating stubborn weeds and brush. Ag Week reporter Noah Fish interviewed Gus Maxfield and his wife Ann in Austin, Minnesota. They got their goats to clean up their land a few years ago, and it worked so well, they joined the franchise grazing business Goats on the Go. They rent their goats out for controlling brush and noxious weeds. They have three herds totaling 120 goats. A herd of 40 goats can clean up one acre in about a week. Bought anything that nothing else will eat. <laughs> they, they, uh, they eat uh, thistles and they eat wild parsnip, um, garlic mustard, buckthorn, all kinds of invasive species. It's a good natural way to do things without using chemicals or spray. The goats are capable of getting in places where mechanical means isn't possible, you know, in rough terrain, stuff like that. The goats are contained by temporary electric fencing. Maxfield says their average job is one acre, but they can do up to five or six acres at a time. He says they stay busy from June through September. 
Up next, you don't have to travel overseas to get a taste of an authentic European creamery. Small or large, Superior Grain Equipment has a storied solution for you with a wide variety of bin options and accessories, along with site planning and superior customer service. Plus, from top to bottom, we offer the industry's best bins and warranties to protect your products and your grain storage investment. Get superior quality, protection, and reliability with generations of experience and dependability. Make the superior choice today with Superior Grain Equipment. The passion to make this season better than the last. Since the beginning, it's been our goal too. From our pipeline of groundbreaking traits to new technologies, ours is a story of innovation and a proven track record that's pushed performance and the industry farther than many thought was possible. But there's still work to be done and yields to chase. Because as you know all too well, success doesn't come to those who wait. Don't miss out on the equipment you'll need next season. Titan Machinery, your local Case IH dealer, has early order discounts on its full line of powerful, efficient, new Case IH equipment, including tractors, combines, and self-propelled sprayers. Get a great deal and ensure that you have the latest in productivity and technology. Supply chains are tight. Contact your Titan Machinery dealership today and find out how much you can save by ordering ahead. Titan Machinery, your local Case IH equipment experts. Grain Handling Direct presents How to Purchase Grain Storage Solutions in Your Bathrobe First, go to GrainHandlingDirect.com, browse our products, check prices, and add your selection to a cart. You can place your order online or call our customer service reps with any questions. We'll route your order to the manufacturer and ship it directly to your front door. GrainHandlingDirect.com, direct and simple to save you money. Omega-3 is a, is a long chain fatty acid that is beneficial in the human body. It's a superfood, basically. I mean, it's Omega-3 canola has helped us by diversifying our crop rotations. Plants look better, they're taller, they're thicker. Pod development seems to be better. Good for soil health, good for weed control. The glufosinate is, it's awesome. Welcome back to this special holiday edition of Ag Week TV from Superior Grain Equipment in Kindred, North Dakota. One of my favorite stories this year is a North Dakota creamery that's bringing a taste of Europe to the prairie. I visited Cows & Co Creamery in Carrington and got a taste of the Netherlands. So we're originally from the Netherlands. Marcia Murphy and her family moved to Canada from the Netherlands when she was seven years old. Her parents were dairy farmers who wanted to grow their operation, but it was hard to expand their farm in Europe. We relocated because we saw that um, Europe was going to be difficult with all the regulations. After spending eight years in Alberta, Canada, Connie Bambadoff and her husband Cornet moved her three children one final time to Carrington, North Dakota. Bambadoff says she always had cheese making in the back of her mind, but never pursued it. Her daughter had also wanted to make gelato and become a cheesemaker, so the pair went to Gelato University in Italy. We went for a week and fell in love with the gelato making process, so we came back and thought, how can we make this possible? They transformed their garage into a gelato making facility, but Murphy wanted to expand. She and her husband Casey bought a homestead in Carrington a couple years ago, and now they make their products right on the farm. Well, it's a really fun, unique on-farm experience where we like to bring the consumer in to, to share our slice of heaven with them. Cows & Co. uses the milk from their dairy farm for their products, which they think gives them an edge. They house 1,500 dairy cows and send the milk they don't use to Cass Clay Creamery in Fargo. The quality of our milk was the number one priority at our, at our farm. Cows & Co. Creamery sells gelato, gouda, and fresh cheddar cheese curds. Murphy wanted to incorporate a European experience into Cows & Co, so they built an on-farm cafe where customers can sit and enjoy their products. On-farm cafes are common in the Netherlands. Our main goal is for people to come to Cows & Co and feel like they are in the Netherlands or in a country in Europe, um, sit on our patio, enjoy uh, farm fresh products. Murphy earned a spot on the Forbes 30 under 30 list for her gelato, and soon you won't have to travel to Carrington to enjoy their products. They tell me they plan to open a store in Fargo in the coming year. Still ahead, an annual favorite Ag Week outtakes. 
attention farmers and ranchers. Do you have a clear understanding of carbon? North Dakota Farmers Union is hosting the Evolution Ag Summit, a one-day event focused on helping farmers and ranchers understand how carbon reduction may impact their operation. Speakers will focus on supply chain commitments, renewable fuels, and carbon sequestration. Join us in Jamestown on February 21st. To register, go to ndfu.org and click on Evolution Ag. I'm Peter Bosch. I've been working with Gateway Building Systems for a little over 20 years now. I chose Gateway Building Systems to build my shop because I wanted a building that could both be used for my equipment and as a place for my family to hang out and do things. I would advise anybody that's thinking about working with Gateway to go in and talk to the guys there, tell them your plans and your future dreams, and let them design something for you. Farming the land carries a lot of responsibilities. You plan and forecast the acres. You plant the crops. You spray the crops. You pray over the crops for good weather and moisture. And you harvest the crops that are long awaited. Erickson Custom Operations would like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Blessed New Year. I ultimately choose them as they handled everything from the site prep, the dirt work, the gravel. The electricians were all excellent and they're very knowledgeable in the dryer setups themselves. They made sure that they designed me a system that was expandable years into the future. It was a long-term encompassing project and that's what I appreciate about their knowledge. I'm Ethan Hansen from Blanchard, North Dakota and I would definitely recommend Advanced Grain for all your grain storage handling needs. It's time to register for the Soil Health Conference, January 24th and 25th in Sioux Falls. With excellent keynote speakers, breakout sessions, awards, discussion panels, social events, and networking opportunities, this outstanding event will offer something for everyone. Students may register for free and can participate in a student essay contest. The conference will be held in conjunction with the Midwest Cover Crop Council annual meeting, January 23rd at the same location. This is a chance to get your soil health questions answered and form connections with mentors. Learn more and register at sdsoilhealthcoalition.org. Thanks for watching this special Christmas edition of Ag Week TV. If you'd like to watch any of these stories again or read the print version, go to agweek.com. We'd again like to thank Superior Grain Equipment for hosting us. As we say goodbye, we hope you'll enjoy some Ag Week TV outtakes. Merry Christmas, everybody. On the Ag Week Cereals Crop Tour, we'll, we'll tell you about... Well, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> I don't know what I did there. I'm in the southern... Red, red, mm, Annie was used in a... Par I know, I'd screw it up. Okay, wave. <laughs> Through the roof, something... Now, Sorry, I'm kind of hesitating there. <sighs> I'm in Northeast North Dakota where we're... I'm eating my hair. TV's hard. Mm -hmm.